Hello, good morning. I look disgusting. Today is graduation day. Yeah, I'm graduating high school today. Ah! I'm exhausted. I'm so sorry. I just got back from graduation practice. Grad practice oh God, like, at oh, 7 o'clock in morning. the morning. Are you tired? Yeah, you can definitely go. tired, Sam? We're gonna, I don't even know where I'm sitting. And before graduation practice, we had Project Grad, which was basically a thing at like, kind of like a bowling area, like they had bowling, laser tag, like all that stuff from like 11 o'clock at night to like 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so it's midnight, so technically it's graduation! And I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take my makeup off and take a nap and then get ready for graduation after, you know? I just woke up, it's like three o'clock now and I need to start getting ready because I have to leave in like two hours. I'm starving and my mom literally did not buy food this week because she just was too busy and I don't know what to eat and I'm starving. Okay, so I just got some food. I got a poke bowl, which I really like those because they make me full, but they don't make me feel sick. So I got that and normally like no one's ever in there, but there was a huge line. It's like, 3 30 right now okay so i'm at the mall right now again i tried putting on false lashes like three four times and they just like weren't working and i wasn't sure if it was like me like sucking at putting them on or if it was like the new lash glue that i got because it's like different from my old one it just like literally they just wouldn't stay on my lids and then the lashes just broke they just broke so i'm gonna go buy some more okay you guys so this is the look Ta -da! um yeah there's my cat there's my gown Need to put that on. I need to leave like five minutes ago. But ta-da, here's, here's the look. You guys, I'm like so late. I was supposed to be at Cheyenne's house at 5.30. It's 5.31 and I'm like not that close and I'm stressing because having to get those eyelashes took up so much time. I gave Kendall my vlog camera so she could vlog it from the stands. My strap is like really loose so I need to get someone to tighten that. And I'm just stressing that I'm late because I hate being late and I've been so late recently and ugh. we're all panicking. I think I should uh, go and get yeah, just go, just go, just go. Okay, 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 we're going to the graduation, obviously. No. But we're, going like late. we're going in different cars, but like... Because there's too many of us. Yeah, there's too many of us in one car. And then they forgot their tassel at Cheyenne's house. And, and, go back. and we're gonna... There's gonna be no parking no, at all. No, there's no way we're gonna find two next to each other. Graduation parking <laughs> is the absolute worst. Oh, that's close. That's weird. Hello. Oh my gosh. Guys, Keegan's not here. <laughs> She's on her way to a graduation, and so are we. Mama Chris, Baby Can, <laughs> Ostitin. We're gonna go, oh, I'm not focused, sorry guys. I'm not professional. How do you focus that way? Can you be really mad if it's not focus? You're right. Please don't hate me, I just trying my heart. Okay, everyone, leave a thumbs up if you are so excited for Keegan. One, two, three, go like it and subscribe. Everyone, yeah. go like it, because you're adults. That's better. Okay, have a good day, goodbye. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? So, we're waiting in line. It's really busy. Um, Keegan, Keegan is inside somewhere. Like, ah! Keegan inside, over there. I can't see what I'm pointing at. Keegan over there somewhere. Okay, we're in the hallway because we're not allowed to go in our classrooms yet, but like, there's everyone. <laughs> we're future almost roommates. Oh my god, not actually We're in the roommates. same um, building, but yes. like, we're gonna be Same BFFs. school, yeah. We'll, we'll be studying together. <laughs> Study buddies. Yes. He's probably taking selfies. You doing good? What time is it? Uh, a little over 5:45. It's a little over 5:45. Yep. They're gonna open. They're gonna the open the doors at 6:15. Then we're gonna go put our butts on hot metal, and then Keegan's gonna come out at seven. Currently, hotter than H E double So I'm glad you're all watching from the comfort of your home because we're dying. But you know we do it because we love Keegan. Okay. What music art that? Do you hear that? <laughs> oh wait. Let's get a sneak peek, shall we? I just ate Cheetos. I'm sorry if my teeth are orange. I really can't tell. No, you're good. Okay. There's stuff happening. They're singing. It's about that time. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> okay, so we just got our seats. We're in the Wild West. And we got the perfect spot so we can watch our victims from afar. Afar? Point 
point she's gonna be in the second she's gonna be row, maybe mom hello just an update i'm still not focused oh god i look all that's unattractive we're still waiting for keegan 623 keegan just texted me let's go see what it says okay do you want to see keegan Oh, look at how cute she is. She's so cute. Fun fact, Keegan's name is the first on the thing, in the pamphlet thing. Kendall, can I have a pamphlet thingy? I'm showing our fans. Don't show the school. Oh, I think she already messed that up, so. I don't think so. Well, can, People put it in the comments, they're like, you showed your school, and I was like, oh. Oh my gosh, Keegan Taylor acting. <laughs> Graduation. <laughs> Um, Hello, me again. Are you surprised? Another update. It's 6:45. 15 minutes to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have action happening. Hold on, the action's really far away. Oh my, is that as far, I knew it would zoom farther. Oh, look! Okay, okay, focus, focus and study. Not easy, easy not as easy as it sounds. Can I put this up on my knee? Sorry about that delay, everyone. Stuff is a happening. Oh my God, there's walking. It's not super focused, I just really... Hey, let me do what I want. Oh my gosh! So much green! So much cop hair. Cop hair. You know the color cop hair? Some people mispronounce it as copper a lot. Wow, stuff is happening. Okay, it zooms out so far. I didn't ask you to do that. You're doing amazing, sweetie. There's gonna be 400 bodies walking out of that building. That's a lot of bodies. All right, it's happening part two. They're getting close here. Hi, dude. Why am I crying in the club right now? I assuming Keegan's somewhere over there. I'm really not sure. So I'm just gonna follow this and just pray that she's over there. You know what I mean? This is as focused as we're gonna get. So this, I hope this is good enough for y'all. All right, let's get the show on. Keep walking, you were doing so good. Keep walking. Why are we pausing so much? Come on. Doing really steady, but they're not doing much. I'm gonna pretend like I can see Keegan in that crowd, but I really can't. gonna stand then I'm gonna stand I locked in. Look! Oh my God, Keegan! Keegan, I love you! Okay, Keegan behind boy. There she is, look at our girl go! Oh, look at her! Yes! Yes! I, I saw. It was funny. Yes, Keegan! Keegan! Yes, Queen! Oh, now she gotta stand until everyone else sit, boy. She's second row, right next to Mrs. Stop talking.
talking to Mrs. Blackburn, you silly girl. Look at me. Look at me, Keegan. Look at me. <laughs> Let's try and get a super, 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 super. Keegan! If you don't hear that, then you're deaf. Look, I see you looking at me. Keegan. Oh, it only zooms into 17. How lame. Keegan! I heart you. I wish it zoomed in more. <laughs> what you doing, honey? National anthem. Body of Student Council. Where the heck is she? I'm not usually a no. procrastinator, but let's just say I really pushed it with this speech. At first, my main method in writing this consisted of watching graduation speech fail videos. Seven YouTube videos later, I know really well what not to do tonight. But in all seriousness, I think the reason I subconsciously put off writing this is because deep down, I knew I was going to miss all of this. It is all we have known for the past four years and I found myself questioning if I was really ready to leave this place. But fast forward to now, things have changed in just about every way possible, and I find myself asking if I am ready to leave. History is largely told as a broad chronicle of great people doing great things, but for most of us, life is not made up of the big moments. It's made up of the small ones. And with every small moment, we are redefining ourselves. Yes, of course, we'll remember the big things that happened in these four years, but it will be the small things, the day in and day out, that will have prepared us best for our future. I'm not saying that everything we learned wasn't important. Mitochondria really is the powerhouse of the cell. And yes, comma splices are evil. Mr. Applebach and Mrs. Robbins, I'm sure that information will come in handy someday. <laughs> but I am saying that it's not the things we learn in the classroom, but the lessons we take from them that define who we are from this point forward. Regardless of your opinion of your high school experience, whether you thought this was the best time of your life or four years spent in prison, we all stand here today with a whole lot of memories, ready to enter the next chapter of our lives. My challenge to you all is to consider what you are taking away from this. In 20, 30, even 40 years, when your children ask you about your high school experience, what will you say? Will you tell them you learned every level two Membean word for no reason at all? Or that you learned to persevere and do your homework when it was the last thing you wanted to do? Will you tell them you hated all your classmates? Or will you tell them you learned how to deal with people who have different views and different opinions than you do? Will you tell them you always wished you had more friends or that you were grateful for the few good ones you had? Will you tell them high school was the absolute first or that it taught you life lessons and gave you experience? At this point, it's all about perception. Now back to my question, am I ready for this? Am I ready for the rest of my life? Well, that depends. If we think high school is nothing but four terrible years, then no, probably not. But if we all walk away from tonight with the belief that high school gave us the best lessons and memories and experiences, then yes, class of 2018, we are ready. Ready for tomorrow, ready for the next month and the next year and the next step of our lives. We have finished what we started. Fellow graduates, let's embrace it because in the end, the memories of these moments will be all we have. So let's leave tonight with our class motto in our minds and in our hearts. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness, bad days give experience, worst days give lessons, and the best days give memories.
Thank you. <laughs> For the past nine years, seniors have bestowed a gift to Campo Verde High School during the graduation ceremony as a token of thanks. The class of 2018 would love to thank teachers and staff alike for their dedication to our own success. This year, we would like to give the school large metallic letters reading CVHS to be put in the front office in order to remind incoming students about Campo, Campo Verde's motto, community, value, honor, scholarship. Community, because it is those sitting with you tonight that made you who you are. Value, because we will forever cherish the moments this school has given us. Honor, because it is pride in yourself that motivates you to move forward. Scholarship, because college is expensive. Four years ago, we were asked to make a choice whether we would choose to live by these qualities or not. Tonight is the beginning of our new lives and we will need to make the same choice again. Choose lives and seniors. As most of you know, oh. the class of 2018 has faced many challenges oh. during our high school career. Oh. Between teachers on maternity leave, receiving Chromebooks our senior year, and the grand finale of a walkout, our class has certainly been through a lot. However, we all seem to finish out the school year strong. We made it to graduation and had some very important milestones along the way. As freshmen, we began high school with freshman orientation, learned that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and got lost in the hallway, hallways of the 500 building while sophomores complained, ew, freshmen. <laughs> Sophomore year, we learned to drive, come to the neighborhood across campus and got into trouble, and started saying, ew, freshmen. <laughs> Junior year, we became more involved, and many of us began to take on more of a leadership role in things such as clubs, such as link crew, performing arts, and varsity sports. Our senior year was a year filled with many lasts. Our last high school dance, football game, state championship, pep assembly, concert, scholarship ceremony, and so much more. This ending chapter is also composed of some heartbreak. Through the disappointment, we can find the positive, and if we are lucky, the better path to go down. Senior year, we also learned what the term CV family really meant. It means accepting one another and realizing that our differences make us stronger, not weaker. Although no two high school experiences are alike, we all share the common theme of adaptability and we are all a CV family. Ironically enough, the quote, life isn't about learning to storm, waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. It seems to be a perfect explanation for our class. Even though we live in a desert, everyone is elated at the sight of a gray cloud in the sky. Things did not go according to plan but we still managed to spend our last moments as coyotes on Coyote Field on May 23rd, 2018 with our diplomas in our hands. After today, many of us will not see another, but we always remember each other. No matter how anyone feels about tonight, we all know this is one all of us will remember. So as you walk across the stage shortly, I implore you all to think about the past four years and think about how you've changed. I know that I certainly have. Freshman year, I came in and it took me two weeks not to get lost in a in class. Now, I am a graduating senior and I only got lost on my way to a swim meet early in the season. Thankfully, I made it just in time or my coach would have me conditioning for the next week. I also encourage everyone to think about the future. It is the one thing that no one has the capacity to see. So it can be filled with anxiety, but it can also be filled with hope and excitement. Step into the future with each breaking moment, and the actions we perform today write the story for the rest of our lives. As a final note, because I may not see some of you again, I will say something that I have said for every exam, and at a popular request from people such as Keegan Acton, Emily Melcher, and Kylie Maxwell, I am saying it tonight as well. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you. Hi, class of 2018. What's up? Uh, now that I have all the eyes on me, I'd like to start off by saying something really important, and that's that I'm vegan. Um, no, I don't eat grass, but I guess you could call me a salad -torian. Anyway, I'm not really for formalities and all that jazz, so we're just gonna get the ball rolling. I would not have been able to get here on this stage without the support 
from not only my parents, but also my mom and dad. I love you guys. Mom, you're out there in a stand somewhere, and I don't know what else to say except thank you. You have always made education a huge priority in your life, while giving me the freedom to decide its value in my own life. I would not have been able to get here without you or my other three dedicated parents, or my best friends, or my late fish, Heathcliff, RIP. I honestly don't know why I'm here. I'm just a vegan in a really big world. Yeah, I managed to mention I'm vegan twice in one minute. You're welcome. Once again, I'm not really sure what my role is to you, class 2018. I think I am supposed to impart some mystical wisdom, but that's really serious, and I don't really like doing that. Speaking from the heart is both my forte and my biggest fear, so this is really fun right now. To me, it seems like most people turn to the terminally ill for inspiration and strength. I find this kind of ironic. Aren't we all born with a terminal illness? Life literally comes with diagnosis of death. It didn't take me a year of painful anatomy practicals where I didn't know where the pins were pointed to on poorly dissected animal carcasses to know that. This terrifies me. Finite time on this earth, and I decide how to spend it? Big mood. One of my biggest fears lately has been that I am not spending enough time creating things. And that is where my advice, my mystical wisdom will derive from. My biggest fear. If I have one thing to tell myself and my class, it is create more than you consume. I have faith in humanity, in human nature, because I believe that humanity is naturally creative. We all want to add value to this world, right? We all create things, things that can be found in art, science, business, or honestly any profession. But the extent of consumption in our generation really shivers my timbers. The things that make us unique are not the things that we consume. The memes, the fads, the movies, the social media, it goes on and on. Your only truly unique identifier is the value that you add to the world. To create is to contribute to our world. One of my favorite things in this world are wind chimes. I love them because they are creative. Wind is their muse, song is their creation. They are not what they consume. They are the vibrations that they send out from an influential force. So take risks. Go after something that has always interested you. Wear something kind of goofy, like purple New Balances to your graduation. Teach yourself how to make friendship bracelets. Bake a dessert. These aren't specific to gender either. Guys can make strawberry shortcake. Let yourself be thrown around in the wind. Who knows what you'll make and who will appreciate it. Anywho, take what you will. If anything, take the, you should all go vegan. Just kidding, I'm gonna stop with that. I've definitely hit my quota for public speaking for the next lifetime. So, I'm glad that this is my last salatorian speech ever, but it's definitely not your guys's, because there's another salatorian. So, Dave Fossey, Yaga, and good luck, Charlie. Also, go vegan, please. <laughs> do what you love, and love what you do. Play to your strengths, and seek out what relevant and interesting hobbies that pertain to what you are eager and, and passionate about. Don't let others define who you are. Not everything that fits others will comply with you. Elise Grismer. Emily Lauren Terrizzo. Catherine Nicole DePinto. Jacob Todd Stetka. Macy Elise Pamakala. Zachary Allen Prusi. Nelson Michael Schneck. Jenna Yuchang Tram. Ruby Kate Hughes. Morgan Taylor Watkins. Camden Scott Vasquez. Caitlin Emily Corning. Maya Elizabeth White. Jeffrey Grant Smith. Michael Yu Wong. Brianna Patricia Herrera. Jenna B. Fleming. Albert Louis Ballesteros. Alexander James Allen. Keegan Taylor Acton. Yes, Kevin! Haley Megan Alvey. Yes! Eileen Ann Amaranto. Lenama Asantua Amachi. <laughs> Bailey Lynn Anderson. Avery Darren Anderson. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Appel. You're doing amazing, Charlotte sweetie. Charlotte Andre. Dalton Kenneth Art. Kaylee Danielle Armstrong. 
Vera Lynn Ashcraft. Uh, I think every speech so far has had this in it, but mine doesn't. So I'm just gonna say it now. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. We did it, you guys. We are finally graduating. <laughs> we have every reason to be ecstatic about this amazing accomplishment, to celebrate this historic night with our closest friends. There is so much to be excited about for the future, and the beginning of our adult lives starts right when we walk off this field. I have every bit of faith in each one of you that you will find success in your own ways. As we reflect on our years here at Campo, do you remember the first day of school? Because I certainly do. Whatever it is you plan to do after tonight, whether it be college, the workforce, the military, or the after party, I wish you find success and happiness in your life and hope that we may meet again. My fellow graduates of the class of 2018, my friends, will you please rise You may turn your tassel from the right to the left. Ready? One, two, three. To find Keegan, we need to find Keegan. <laughs> this is going to be very hard. Where are thou, Keegan? I do not know. We're supposed to go to the North basketball hoop. I don't know which way North is. I do not know. That's a hoop. Let's go find Keegan. Let's go find Keegan. Where's everyone else? I'm gonna get really lost really quick, guys. Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Gabby! Good. Oh my god, I'm trying to find Keegan. Keegan, help! Keegan! Keegan, I will yell your name. I can't find any of my Keegan? Keegan? Keegan, don't they stop? Keegan? I'm not Keegan. I know, I just look at Keegan! A hydrated, graduated girl. I love you. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Look at her. She's right there. You're getting another one. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. Um, you got the shout out, huh? Yeah. Do you have to pay? Will you take a kilo? Let me give you one last touch for you. Ah! 
fun. So much stuff right oh now. Who are we waving to? We graduated! We graduated! Class of 2018! <laughs> and this thing has whipped me in the face more times than I can have my hat on because I look like an egg. No, but like my hair's so flat, I'm not taking this thing off. And Allison's got us flowers! We look like we're so loved. I know. Wait, don't leave me. <laughs> Pictures, it's so chaotic. Yeah. Oh, what do you have to say? Um, hi. I'm afraid to take my cap off because then I'll look like an egg. Uh, me too, my hair's a mess. Yeah. Okay, so we're in Sam's car now. We just left. We literally like missed all the traffic because we were there for so long taking pictures yeah. of people. We have so many pictures that we need to share and like get from other people too. Yeah, I have like none. Same. Um, your dad. My dad has, has all, all of them. We're just like staring at like. Okay, I'm, I don't care. I'm never going here ever again. Or, or I'm not going to school here anymore. But like, we're just like, look at it. Oh, it's all blurred. That look how like aesthetically pleasing that is in the camera. It's all like, look oh, at that. that. Looks super cool. Right? Ooh, that would be like a. Ooh, look at that. That looks snazzy. Okay, but can it focus though? We're just like looking at the campus, and we're like, we've been here for four years, and now it's done. How's it hit you guys that we're leaving? No. I really don't feel like it. I okay. like it's weird. It just feels weird. Oh, like, I'm like. I don't remember walking on the stage. Like it happened so fast. Dude, same. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. It went so quick. Okay. Albert, he, like, was there in front of me. And he goes, "Oh my God, we're doing this." And I go, "I hope we don't. I hope I don't trip. I hope I don't trip." And he goes, "Oh me too." And he tripped. <laughs> and he tripped. <laughs> to say goodbye. Yesterday's gone. We gotta keep moving on. And I'm so thankful for the moment. So glad. Okay. There's no way. JP's a little mad. JP's mad. We're all in and out. Okay. Good night.